My name is Jacqueline Langholtz, and I'm the manager of school and group programs here at Monticello. We're going to start with the engraving of Robert Fulton in Jefferson's chamber. And this is a, a special piece to me that I was excited to talk about because I first noticed it six years ago. I was actually interviewing for the position. Robert Fulton is credited with adapting the steam engine for shipping, which of course has tremendous importance on New York as a port city and um, a collection of what are really mainly islands connected today, of course, by bridges and tunnels. But in the 17 and 1800s, they were connected by ships and ferries. And that's gonna delay trade and transportation. Um, so by all accounts, Robert Fulton was very handsome and his portrait was displayed in many of the finer homes in New York City, he had curly dark hair, blue eyes, definitely worthy of a historic crush. So I moved to Virginia from New York City knowing Fulton's name and his face uh, and thinking of him as an American inventor who helps usher in what we think of today as the first real stages of urban development and industrial progress. And what I didn't realize is that Fulton and Jefferson were contemporaries. So here I'd had Thomas Jefferson compartmentalized in my head, but in actuality, Jefferson and Fulton are living at the same time, and they're interested in so many of the same things. They correspond about inventions and engineering projects, things like the construction of the Erie Canal, and even a plan for protecting New York Harbor with torpedoes and submarines. I'm not making it up. In March of 1810, Jefferson writes to Fulton from Monticello and says, quote, where a new invention is supported by well-known principles and promises to be useful, it ought to be tried. So I come to learn that Fulton actually helps Jefferson with the one invention that we credit him for, and that's the moldboard plow of least resistance. In April of 1810, Jefferson borrowed a machine for measuring force from Robert Fulton in order to measure mathematically the force necessary to pull a plow fitted with his own, quote, mathematically perfect mold board. For me, realizing that these two men, Fulton and Jefferson, uh, who I had labeled and categorized in very different historical compartments in my brain, were not only contemporaries, but friends and men who shared so many common pursuits and interests, it helped me realize the elasticity of history and the interconnectedness of it all. And I think this is an important part of Jefferson's legacy. There's a part of it that touches all of us. Scientist, artist, politician, citizen, educator, farmer. Name a topic and Jefferson's got his fingers in it.